you guys watch telly, right? <laughs> Phew, guess I landed on the right planet. I just love entertainment. It's just so fantastic, so intriguing. I mean, we have Sky, thousands of channels at our access. Channels down on BBC with tough blokes sorting each other out down the blue, winning to have a fight. Or on the upper channels, David Attenborough's study of the leaf. Oh, and it's not just here where entertainment is thriving. Hollywood, Bollywood. Oh, it hurts. Nollywood. Now, for those of you who don't know what Nollywood is, it is the entertainment industry made in Nigeria. Now, you guys are all top bananas, aren't you? Nigeria is a great place. So how can something bad come from Nigeria? Well, just as every mansion has its rubbish bin, Nigeria has Nollywood. I mean, you know you've watched Toy Story 3, right? and they have the little funny bloopers at the end. Nollywood make successfully three hours of bloopers that aren't even funny, and you guys sit down and watch it. Common example, Nollywood, Romeo and Juliet. Ha, Funke, what happened? <laughs> he doesn't love me anymore. Oh, we all know where this is going. You know what? I should poison his food. Now, this silly woman poisons the food, tastes test the poisoned food, and dies. Her husband isn't smart either. He comes along, takes a spoon of jello fries, eats it, and dies. For goodness sake, people, are we going to watch this for three hours, day in, day out, every day of our lives? Come on, people, come on. On. To conclude, when the world casts their eyes upon Nigeria, don't look at silly Nollywood producers, but look at people like me who aren't afraid to speak in front of you with socks and sandals on. Think of the amazing football team that pushed their way through tough challenges and won the World Cup in 1966. Oh, was that England? So sorry, Wikipedia. But please, auntie, uncle, and you over there who I don't know, don't look at Nollywood. That's it for tonight's show. Thank you for listening.